She wants him to open the door. That's a terrible turn down service greeting. Oh, good morning, detective. Hmm. Where the hell were you last night? I did not allow you to come in. Yeah. Where were you? I was with Therese at the borderline. And I came home. What, you want to ask my rat for an alibi? <laughs> I yeah. know you were at the borderline, Craig. At least 20 people saw you there with Therese. Not an hour before she was murdered in the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. I mean, that's his response. Oh. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think she has, he has Pinky on his wall. What happened? Oh, I think hmm. you know. Damn it, I didn't kill her. I think you did, asshole. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before you were arrested. It's very professional. I just I hope don't. to God it happens before you slaughter somebody else. Yeah. That's helpful. Thanks. I like Therese. She would be good at other jobs. I wouldn't have hurt her. Mm -hmm. Not ever. Is that right? Only you two when she asked. A strange way of showing your affection. What? It's a lifestyle choice. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of judgy. I need to know what happened to Therese. A lot happened to Miss Banning, actually. I guess the short version would be that someone strung her up and fried her in her very own blood. What do you mean fried? Like, I'll get him. Whoever he is, I swear to God, I'll get him. Like I'm sure the good people of the city will rest easier knowing that. Like golden brown and delicious? Or like, mm -hmm. like, like what quality? I don't get it. Why aren't you after Paul Warner? I mean, he's the one who's behind all this. I mean, he'd do anything to protect that, that, that threshold project, whatever the hell that is. Gosh, I better go arrest him right away. Oh, uh, and just for the record, who gave you this information? Space aliens? Get the hell out! Fine, but I'll be back, you son of a bitch! I'll be back to nail your ass to the wall! How does she even get her hair that way? Um... It's like a helmet. Probably lots of chemicals, actually. Oh. Well, this is the last day. It's time to deal with all this shit. Where's the mail? You're usually here by now. Uh huh. I'm sure this will not be at all upsetting. Nope, probably not. Certainly, this won't be some tormenting uh, thing by our, the figment of our imagination. Who sends us mail? That's a weird little symbol. That's the. Uh... <laughs> that is really cheesy. Yeah. Wow, that an that anticipates that meme. Uh, that's the Wintec symbol, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm terrible at remembering things. Yeah, and it's also the icon of the game. Like, the... Which you can't... I don't know why. I, I use Bandicam, and for some reason, like, the, the cursor doesn't scale right. Mm -hmm. So you see, like, the on-screen cursor's incredibly small. Yeah, it's... I thought... It's, it's a Bandicam thing. I couldn't thing. tell if that was a... the cursor or, like, some yeah. kind of... I don't mistake. know. I don't know why they don't fix it. I mean, I complained to them, and they're like, "Yeah, we know it's fucked up." <laughs> but they've not, done all they can. Yeah, they tried nothing, and they're all out of ideas. <laughs> you should replace that mirror. I like that. I don't know that that shows you in different uh, in a different light. Yeah, but only in a murdery light. Well, we only saw one. <laughs> So we still see we still see uh, Curtis thinking that he might be the murderer, uh, which I guess we don't really know that he isn't. Yeah, I mean, there's some reason to suspect he might be. Yeah, that's right. Well, we will get the resolution to that in this uh, in this day because hmm. this is the last day, and they aren't doing two seasons. He has or some that bullshit. stupid heart thing with legs. Who has one of those? You Nobody has one of those. Only murderers. That's a sign of like. Psycho psychopathy. Yes. Because you have like this stupid little Yeah, why does he have that? That is weird. Uh well, I I guess we could call uh, And his phone is bizarrely old. Uh yeah, this Dr. was made Harper's like twenty years ago. Um, I have I have to see Dr. Harburg right away. I'm um I'm having uh, problems and I uh Um yes, sir. I'll get her right away. Please hold. 
It's a problem that almost everyone you know has died in a three-day span. Doc, yep. this is Curtis. Um, I'm, I'm, ha I'm having troubles. I need to see you. I, it's Therese. She, um, she's been murdered, and I. That'd be upsetting. Oh God, don't, didn't... don't tell Doctor Merrick. He's, he's in on it. <laughs> They're all in on it, and, and I. Oh wow. God, Doc, I have to see you. I have to see you now. It'll be all right, Curtis. Yeah, okay. I definitely won't yeah. have the men there with butterfly okay. nets. You know, it's... Hmm. Now we're getting a shot of Harburg outside of Curtis's what view. Can I do for you, Dr. Ricky? Trisha, could you alert security? One of my patients is on his way over, and I believe he's in the middle of a psychotic episode. But please, don't have him intercepted. Just ask security to be ready if I call, all right? Will do, Doctor. <laughs> That's an awfully chipper response to that. <laughs> Not like, oh my god, okay. You're like, well do, doctor. <laughs> yeah. Sure thing. Let me know if you think you're going to be murdered. Uh huh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Merrick. So oh, cute. You're so Son of a bitch! Curtis. So she thinks Curtis did that? Nope, she right. thinks Curtis is right. Ah, okay. He's mine! <laughs> Something bad just happened to Dr. Harburg, Harburg, I think. Hmm. Well, that seems bad. Yeah. Uh, so that's actually the first confirmation that we got. So that was actually outside of Curtis's POV. Right. That seems bad as well. <laughs> Yeah, that's an appropriate response. Yeah, hang up on that person. That'll make it go away. Well, let's click behind the desk. I mean, I guess maybe he thought it was a hallucination. She got on her desk. Is that uh, like an old-timey radio? I don't know. Well. Is she melted? Yeah, she melted. Beautiful work. Is that Curtis. real? Just yeah. spectacular. Uh, the good doctor is truly your master. Didn't do it. I couldn't have. I wasn't even here. You didn't use your hands, Curtis. You don't have to. You used your mind. Your diseased, twisted, murderous mind. Get it. Get that thing. Oh boy. Yeah, he seems like a person who should definitely be armed. <laughs> I bet he won't shoot random black people. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully not too many of them end up at the... Okay, so you, I just clicked on the door there, and uh, hey! Curtis runs away. Jesus, Doc! So... Yeah, she melted. The apparition that we just saw... Uh, which I don't I don't know if it's referred to in the uh, actually in the game, but everyone else calls that um, the uh, what do they call it the purple monster? No, the hecatomb. The what now? Hecatomb. It's for, it's like a Greek word. Mm, okay. And he suggested that Curtis is responsible, even though. He doesn't know about it, but that certainly seems to rule out that Curtis actually is murdering these people because I, I don't know how he would fry a person into a two-dimensional object. Yeah, that, I mean... Not with his hands. That's pretty unusual. Yes. It does not clear up who killed Tom. Uh, also, we do have now two confirmations that Merrick is involved yeah. uh, even though the only one that Curtis would know about is if he
played the part of the game where he died. So yeah, it's in the scene when you do something stupid in the basement. So he would not know that. Uh, okay. No one at work today. I don't know why. That Does everybody else know that Teresa died? Teresa. Not Teresa. Maybe they know that the office color scheme is really upsetting. Yeah. In addition to it being depressing. So it's like a combination of like upsetting and depressing. What is that color scheme? That's like 1960s Joker Batman. Yeah. It's not a good office look, really. His glasses are broken. Yeah, but you know, Bob is still a prick. I, you, you don't get to be like that. I don't. I don't mind that he was murdered. Oh, that was Bob. I, they're all white men look alike to me, so. Oh, yeah, it does look kind of bitey. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know why that would be their logo. Wintech? Does that look like a W? I guess it kind of does. And then, like, an upside-down T. Mm. I only want you to be happy, Curtis. You've nearly lost your mind, haven't you? You'd be so much more at ease if you just give up the battle. You'll be well taken care of in the asylum. Get away from me! And we cannot click outside of the screen or on anything else. We have to just click on the monitor. Who are you? And continuing to Don't talk to the Hecate. Me, Curtis. I'm just a part of your own twisted mind. If you just give in to me, let me take over. You'll be so much happier. It won't hurt. What? <laughs> no! Is he menacing his own head with a thermos? Uh, actually, a computer monitor. Oh, he's menacing the monitor. I thought he was going to bash himself. No, he was going to break that CRT monitor. You know how fucking with hard that thermos? is? With a thermos? I don't think so. No, it's really hard to break a monitor. Maybe with a sledgehammer? Uh, not even then, really. Mm. I knew somebody who tried it. He was not able to break it with a sledge. I think you can do it with a bullet, but... Mm. Uh, it's not not trivial at all. What if you had like one of those really like serious sledgehammers, like a um, like a, a old timey railroad spike driving one? I mean, look, I didn't do the experiment myself, but ooh, jackhammer. Of course, you'd have to secure it somehow, uh, which might be challenging. Yeah. Well, look, it's of course it's theoretically possible to break a CRT. It's just you're not going to do it with a thermos. No. That's why I thought he was going to bash himself in the head with it. I mean, the problem's inside his head. Yeah. Uh, or so that creature would have him believe. That is what the Hikatum said. Yes. Uh, we're still missing a lot of facts here. Um, I'm writing you in an urgent attempt to gain more funding for the Threshold Project. We're on the verge of an incredibly important breakthrough if we succeed in utilizing the dimensional rip. Hmm. known as the threshold to synthesize the chemical Lotus B according to specifications if it actually has the effect on the human body that we believe it will Wintech will become a multi-billion dollar megacorp overnight I understand that some of you have reservations the failure of the threshold to adapt to military applications along with the Jonas Craig debacle were most definitely setbacks for the project however once we discovered the Threshold Dwellers' ability to synthesize chemicals, those setbacks became insignificant. The gold mine that shines before us is virtually bottomless. A partnership with the U.S. government. Uh, uh, so what, are they making super soldiers or something? Would have been nowhere near as lucrative. Uh, well, see. Imagine, if you will, an antidepressant as subtly and strongly addictive as nicotine. Uh. The only side effect is gradual loss of excess body fat. 
Everyone in the country, everyone in the world, in fact, will want it. Uh, before long, everyone will need it as well. See, I, I mean, to, when does your loss of body fat stop? Because you don't want to lose all your body well, fat. Well, it says excess. It's all yours oh, for the true. taking, gentlemen, if you will just grant us the funds to finish our research. Okay, so at, I'm not saying that this is correct, but what Warner thinks is that, and we'll print a copy of that logo. What Warner thinks is that the people on the other side of this dimensional rift are capable of synthesizing basically any chemical. And that's why the thing was asking for a bunch of chemicals, including some people, hmm. because they need that that material to start synthesizing what Warner um, what Warner wants. And remember they asked, what is addiction? Because they didn't know what that meant. And um, I don't know whether Warner gave them that answer, but that's Warner's ploy is that he's go and by the way i would totally believe that a, a corporation would do that dear curtis uh i really think we should check ourselves into the hospital right now that nice dr merrick will take care of everything we won't have to think we won't have to feel all we'll do is relax and ride the thorazine if we take enough we won't even feel the scalpels or the shocks he promised not to make it hurt that much i trust him don't you hurry curtis before we kill someone else your friend curtis seems legit yeah um so why would curtis curtis's it does not seem like curtis's uh psyche would be sending himself emails <laughs> i'm just gonna throw I that out there know, i think we can sort of uh let's see this is from his mom we'll be together again soon my love my monster my baby son soon we'll be together forever and then i can kill you you murdering freak i'll rip out your black twisted heart soon 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 nice lady uh imaginary lady yeah well she used to be real yeah it's a nice nice note uh uh curtis craig from therese why did you kill me you son of a whore hmm. um i don't think that she's in a position to say <laughs> what marianne was we don't know that she was a whore. She just wore bad wigs. Yes. Uh, Trevor says, forget Wintech and get out of here now. That does seem like good advice. Now, it's worth asking why Trevor is saying that. Did something... Is, is, the, hec is the hecatomb also tormenting Trevor? Well, I mean, his co-workers are dropping like flies, so that's just good advice anyway. I would say so. Um, but nevertheless, I, I, I think we can kind of rule out Curtis emailing himself. I think whatever this malevolent thing is, it, it's doing all of this. Um, it's sort of an open question. Oh, my God. Khakis. <laughs> oh. Trev, you scared the crap out of me. I, Curtis, I listen, you... listen. Listen. I've been delving deep into the company network. Just leave it alone, man. It's bad. I can't, Trev. I can't let it go. You, you, you don't get it, Curtis. I gave myself top clearance. I saw. They've been synthesizing illegal drugs. Curtis, they've killed before. Oh, my God. Well, we know that, though. Mm -hmm. They killed his father. I'm, uh, I'm going to the cops. No job is worth this. But, Curtis... I want you to stay out of it. I don't want you to get hurt. <sighs> Curtis. Really? Not the right no. time. I love you. Huh. That's not a good sound. I really hope you can save Trevor. Nope. Mm, that's unfortunate. <laughs> There's no way to save Trevor. And right when he was going to explore his homoerotic 
tendencies, which we have no reason to suppose he ever had before. We also don't have any reason to suspect he didn't True. already do that. Anyway, no! yeah. Trevor! Apparently Trevor. No, you son of a bitch! It's pretty hard to see Curtis doing that. I think we can safely say that this is not Curtis. Curtis is not doing this. So the the one question that we, we still don't know the answer to is, what is the twin? Who is the twin that the... Well, they're not aliens, I guess, but they're whatever. What were they talking about? Extra-dimensional creatures? And... Oh, don't cry, Curtis. You seen the game? When what his father is stashed, that? And wax in his nose and his jaws wired shut. So did that guy absorb the CRT? Shouldn't we have heard a loud bang when it hit the floor? Yeah, you would think. Sound guy, you're slacking. Yeah, come on, Foley. Um, yeah, that's so. There's another look at the Hikatum. And it's we, a puppet. Yeah, we know that. It, well, it's, it doesn't exist physically, so we don't really know how it's doing anything. But Trevor has top clearance, so we need his ID. Sorry, dude. Uh, at this point, the only person that Curtis knows who's still alive is, uh... His boring ex-girlfriend. His boring, yes. Well, maybe ex-girlfriend. Well, I mean, I would think. She was mad, but they did have an agreement. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't think she wanted to have that agreement. Uh, well... I mean, she agreed to it, but I, yeah, I think she was kind of hoping that... If you agree to an agreement, then, uh... Then you agreed. Hmm. Anyway, we're just going to use Trevor's card to get in everywhere. I guess there's really no reason why Trevor would have been able to give himself top clearance today instead of yesterday, but, you know. Whatever. It's gatekeeping. So why does the Hikatum exist? Like, why Why is that a thing? Who would, who would, uh, who would create such a thing and, and for what purpose? Is it something that's covering up Wintech's interests? Is it something specifically to torment Curtis? Or is it a third thing that we don't know? Flashback time. Slimy. Which white man is this? This is Curtis's dad, Jonas. Okay. Oh shit, my kid's all slimy. Or something. That was Curtis as a child, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe they left the dye out of the Nickelodeon uh, mm. Kids' Choice Awards slime. I heard that was just green applesauce, but I'm not sure that was accurate. Uh, it looked a lot more viscous when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't believe it when the other kids... I mean, other kids tell you all kinds of stuff that isn't true. Well, maybe they switched formulations, but uh, at least on... You can't do that on television. That shit really did look like slime. Mm. It didn't look like no applesauce. I would say it looked more oil-based than anything. Well, wouldn't it have to be, like, safe to to eat? Like, not like you want to eat a whole bowl of it, but, like, won't make the, you puke or anything? In the 1980s? I don't know. I It was in Canada, right? Surely they... I know zero about that. Uh, we've already been in here. This is the control room. But the, but yesterday we didn't have access clearance high enough to, to slide our card through this card reader. Uh, if we did that, we we were caught by the by Merrick. Mm. But now we have Trevor's key, which is level four. Now, if I were making a clandestine, uh, you know, illegal operation, I would not tie it to the regular security system. Yeah, no. I think that's that might be one of those things that you want not to be on the internet. Yeah. I'm just I am just saying that 
uh, oh, wh when are we to receive the raw materials? Our artists, the, our holy ones, our scientists await. So Warner has not given them the, the, the bodies that they needed. Uh, we must have live materials to maintain the living icon. Hmm. The living icon must survive if we are to finish our experiments. Our experiments must be finished if we are to complete the synthesis you requested. Send the live human creatures immediately. Uh, I said, why? You are being redundant, P.A. Warner. Are you, are you being absorbed? We must have the live materials to complete the synthesis. And they give up again, and they just say, look, enter the rift so we can talk. Or go to the rift. Mm. And they did this yesterday, but we didn't have the clearance, and now we do. So this, this is it. This seems like a good idea. We are going to go into the threshold. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, and we know the correct icon because we saw it on Warner's thing. I don't know why you would need to print it if you have no short-term memory. Well, I mean, he is sort of suffering from some psychosis, so maybe that's a real concern of his. Uh, but I was the one doing the puzzle. Yeah. In case you get knocked on the head in between. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the threshold. Hello, Paul Warner. We have not been successful in attempts to synthesize stuff. compound requested. Small living materials were useful. Larger ones are better. More, please. Don't move, Curtis. Oh, how I wished it wouldn't have come to this. Mm -hmm. Really? What the hell was I just talking to, Paul? Creatures from Dimension X, of course. <laughs> Duh. Um, well. You killed my father, didn't you? He became a liability. Not everyone is strong enough to handle the sacrifice of human subjects for research. Son of a bitch. You know, it's a good thing your dear old dad never knew he didn't really get his little boy back. He'd have lost his nerve much sooner. What does that mean? What are you talking about? Don't you remember? You told me you looked I threw poor little Curtis in there. But he never came out. You did. You're a replica. You're some kind of imitation human. Those things on the other side put together out of slime and dead rats. <laughs> and a little bit of Curtis's brain tissue. Oh, I told your father it was you. That there'd been a terrible accident. And he believed me. Because he wanted to. No. Yes. Maybe. I'm afraid so. You started remembering a year ago. That's why we put you in the hospital. To observe you. I should say to observe you more closely. You see... We've been watching you like a bug in a jar ever since those things spit you out of the threshold. Where am I? Where is he? I will not be pleased with myself. Curtis Craig, at your service. Gross. So the Hikatum claims that he's Curtis Craig. Oh my god. No, that can't be. You are a slow, glad, and proto What you see now is an electrical projection. A manifestation of my hatred for you. My body, my human body is in there. It is a twisted, wretched mess. Kept alive by the cannibalized body parts of corpses, bulls, amorphous things, just all about their lives all around me, combining, recombining, playing with the monstrous things that warn against them. They never even touch me. Oh God, I'm so sorry. 
Adi, are you sorry that my body is a sickening apparition? Are you sorry that I haven't slept for 20 years? Yeah. I've been awake, Curtis, watching you. Building my towers so that I can smash, destroy you, take your life the way you took mine. Well, see, it wouldn't be his fault. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do it to you. That's I, what I said. I'm a victim, too. Oh, baby. The pain will stop very soon. Once your mind breaks, your body will be mine. I almost got you, you know. When you're in the asylum. Almost. No, don't! It's time to go now, Curtis. Say goodbye to your sanity! And I clicked on the button in the background. Inside Dimension X. I think this is where a lot of critics uh, sort of got off the boat. This is a uh, horribly green screened uh, weird sequence with all, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the with 3D renderings that were the style at the time. Um, there's, there's, there's certainly not anything that... Oh, also, all of this is incredibly badly motivated. Let's pick up this uh, this goo hmm. that's here. You never know when you'll need some goo. Look, you know. Alien slime. That is what that is. Let's stick it in our pocket. Okay, well, the Hikatum there said that he's a, an, an electrical manifestation of Curtis Craig's hatred for him. And that implies that Curtis himself is somewhere in... Dimension X. Um, I don't know if he's nearby. Let's hope. I, I guess the plan here is to go and attack Curtis. Uh, that panel is not powered up right now, and we can't do anything with it. Let's go down this stairway. Uh, I guess that's what that is. <laughs> so, where are the creatures that we were just talking to? They're not... Hello? Oh, creatures. there's a li oops, little alien creature. Let's oh. grab grab that guy. It, Pick him up. There you go. It's like a kielbasa with legs. It's an alien creature. Sure. Yeah, it's a little Polish sausage thing. It literally looks like they made that out of Polish sausage. Well, it's just a computer-generated thing. Come on. Uh, there are little tendrils going everywhere and some... Uh, uh, there's this little conduit. Let's break it. Uh, I don't think we can. Oh. Here's another creature. Let's grab I'm it. I'm going to stick that in our pocket. i pick that sucker up. <laughs> and that is, let's see, alien creature again. All right. Yep. And this one looks like, oh, we can combine the kielbasa with that one. And nope, won't, won't do it. <laughs> won't combine. So we're going to be, like, making creatures? Well... They said that, that they take, you know, these creatures and they combine them in strange ways and they mm. make new entities. And that was the promise of the Threshold Project oh, was that they could that just uh, take some matter from Earth, another alien creature. This one looks like a starfish, sort of. And we scared away some creatures from this stuff, uh, which says up? alien fungus. Oh, goody. No, yeah, we also have that. Excellent. So the alien creatures are... We couldn't grab one. Uh, we can combine these two, maybe? And if you do that, you die. Hmm. If you do that, you die. It turns into a bitey thing. Yep. And there's, I, as far as I know, there's no way to know that. You just have to do it. Um, the game doesn't penalize you. You just hit retry, and you're back, right back where you were. So let's combine our sausage with our starfish fungus. Yeah, we're going to combine those two guys uh, in this painfully long sequence. And we are going to get... What are we going to get from this? Something orange? 
Something beige. It's looking looking beige. And it's got a I don't know. What is that? It's a Sputnik. We <laughs> we got a Sputnik with a tail. Or a mine. Or like a supposedly if you put toothpicks in an avocado pit it'll grow a thing. There you go. That's what it is. It's a a combined alien creature. Yeah, that's what we've got. So now we have a combined alien creature, we have alien slime. And we have an alien fungus. Great. Mm hmm Do you not think that this is a good gameplay mechanic? It certainly seems like a logical thing to do. Yeah. I agree. So, coming to this room off the side, and there's, uh, I don't know, what, what is this? Okay, I don't think that we want that to happen to us, but maybe we do. I but there's a shield around it, and uh, we need to find some way of dispelling that shield. Uh, Those oh. things don't seem to like us. No, they don't. Over here, we've got uh, some more of these creatures. What can we do here? Throw fungus at them? If we... They they were yeah they were attracted to the f fungus. So if we put that down, and we can grab him. I don't know why we couldn't grab the previous ones. I guess because they don't come back. So anyway, we now we have an electric alien. And there you go. So that solves the problem, right? You pitch your electric alien? Uh, no, we're going to pitch the uh, combined... I mean, don't be stupid. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. No, we have to use the combined alien to dispel that field. Sure. And then let's uh, just go ahead and jump in here. It yeah, seems good. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bully guy. There you go. No worse for wear. Maybe. And we come into beep beep? yet another room. Yeah, that's the opening theme. Music. Hey, there's a dude over there. Surrounded by, I don't know, shit that a guy made for the set. Hello. We have met ourselves. This is Curtis Craig. Pretty, pretty screwed up. The original Curtis Craig. The new one seems better. Don't look at me! Go rot in your own festering brain, 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 So the Hikatu manifests itself in Dimension X as well. Now then. <clears throat> And we have the sequence. Let's see what little mutant boys are made of. Snips and snails and puppy dog tails. Uh, let's grab this syringe. We have several choices, but syringe is the only one that works. And we jam that into his temple. That's all from Eric. Even though you've been cheating on me with Therese. Mm -hmm. I love you. Sure, so. Technically, it wasn't cheating because we said that. Oh, never mind. I love you too much to ever let you go. Well, that was an unexpected development. 
Now again, we have several <laughs> choices, but the right thing to do is to grab the gun and we prevent your, uh, Jocelyn from shooting. And now we are... Where are we now? We're in... A ventilation center that with really bad ceiling on the water lines? What? What's going on? Is this the office with its upsetting color scheme? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, okay. It kind of looks like the office, doesn't it? But there are ducts everywhere. Yeah, well, it got pretty messed up. Oh. By something. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That lighting fixture in that window look familiar, don't they? And the I was wondering when you said drag your lazy ass in here. Uh oh. Trev? Curtis. I've decided to take you up on that kiss. No, thank you. You're kind of dead and creepy. Yeah, I don't think Curtis is into that. Ooh, about how intestines. Pray for death. Be quiet. Oh, we dropped our fake we ID. We dropped our ID. Ooh, sledgehammer. There's Tom. Now, the mere existence of these people doesn't imply that Curtis is responsible for all of their deaths. Tom might have been killed by somebody else. Tom might have been killed by Warner, although you would think Warner would just have him shot. Mm. So the right thing to do is to pick up the ID, and Tom will miss us. Shit. Yeah, why do those things never work the first damn time? Maybe you would shut. Oh, I guess it shuts itself. Oh. 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 What's the safe word? I don't know if they ever set one. Anyway, you click on this little handle over on the right here. Those manacles are not very good. No. And I don't know. Therese just can't stand being on the floor and she dies. Evidently. I don't really get that, but okay. Come here, Curtis, sweetheart. I have something for you. Is it a candy bar? Is it a popsicle? Is it like shears? I love you, Mama. So there were several options there that I didn't show. Uh, you can try to like pick up a rock and throw it at her. Mm. You can run. Uh, and all of those end up in death, mm. which I'll uh, I'll show all the deaths at the end. So Curtis has escaped all of the things. The Hikatum has no more power. I guess dies and that means that Curtis is now powerless and we're free to murder him as we should because for all of the hard knocks that Curtis Craig experienced in Dimension X none of those were the fault of all of the people that he murdered Yeah, it does. And it causes the... Here are all the ways there are to die. Cool. In Merrick's scene, uh, we had a choice of several different uh, surgical implements. You would think that any of those would work equally well. Yeah, that one looks good. Nope. Merrick sees that coming a mile away. Mm -hmm. 
You've been a bad boy. <clears throat> Gonna have to be punished. And somebody squirted some blood out of the scene. Yep. Let me go, please. Please, I haven't done anything. Try reasoning with him. Oh, yeah. I think that's a logical option to choose. Yeah, we're inside our own brain. Uh, that doesn't work. And if you do nothing, then the same thing happens. He right. stabs you. Arterial spray. Arterial spurting. Yes, that's what happens each time. Yeah, I think that the person squirted it on the light fixture. Yep. So someone had to clean that. Uh, if you try to do anything other than what I did, you will die here. Um, the options are to do to to do nothing or to try to run away, and uh, Joss shoots you in the back. Uh, that doesn't look like a killing wound to me, but you know, whatever. I love you, baby. Oh, yeah, see, she follows it up. No, I know. I just I f feel like he He was surprised. He could have kept running. If you try to grab the gun instead of... Uh, or if you try to uh, click on her instead of clicking on the gun, that's what mm. happens. Is she shoots you in the stomach. Um, in this scene with Trevor and Tom and Bob... If you try to go without getting the ID, a little closer, Emperor. It's interesting that. Uh, oh, that's what happens if you click on Bob. Uh, will not let you click on that without the ID. I don't think. Trev, please. Oh God, Trev, please don't hurt me. Curtis, I only want a kiss. Yeah, you You're said all that. You're bloody already. and gross, though. Yeah. Tom, Tom, I swear to God, it wasn't my fault. Tom, it wasn't my fault. Tom says, vomits gross black stuff. Yeah. I don't know if there was any reason for the order of when people got killed. It certainly seemed like P.A. Warner would have had motive to kill Tom at that point. Anyway, this is what happens if you don't do anything. Uh, Tom crushes your head, I guess. And if you wait and then go to the door without the ID, it just fades, fades to black. bad things. Yeah. So, if you do anything other than push the handle, like punch her. Your heart belongs to me, Curtis. It always has. She tears oh, your heart out. And look, it's even beating. I'm not sure that I think it would keep beating like that. Well, it might like spasm. Maybe. Uh, you can try to throw a rock at mom. That's a pretty small rock. What are you thinking, kid? Uh, no, he, yeah, he, he drew blood. But... Yeah, but you need a way bigger rock than that if you're gonna kill. And you probably need to hang on to it and keep hitting. There you go. She snips your, sure. snips your head off. Uh, you can try running away, but Curtis trips and she kills you. It's the same footage, <laughs> I think. All right, so we grab this. What is this? Alien glop. Mm. Alien glop. Right. That's what that is. Um, yeah. Alien glop. Anyway, I guess, yeah, I guess Curtis is dead now. I, I don't know. I guess the mask was what was keeping him alive. And now he's deceased. Okay. Yeah. This, uh, I don't know, what is this? Conduit is not in good shape. If we take the uh, glop and combine <laughs> it with the slime, we get 
Glime. I can't remember if I showed it. Alien Ooze. This is ah, Ooze now. Ooze. And everybody knows that Ooze is what fixes alien conduits. Clearly. So we'll just uh, apply that. And it's a good patch job. Good job, Curtis. You should get an achievement for that. Mm. Um, something is broken on the portal. The portal is turned off and it's powered down. We charged up an electric alien earlier, <laughs> so we'll just stick that sucker in there. Yay. And I guess it doesn't crawl away. Uh, sure. Maybe we tore its head off. <laughs> nice. Seems like the sort of thing we would do. I don't know whether we did. So this panel is what turns on the 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 portal back to Earth. So there's um, all these wires over here, and those those are connected according to the the colors. There's a diagram on the bottom with three wires, so you could follow that color scheme. <sighs> this is stupid. Yes, it is. And on the left is the same thing for the four wires. Uh, in case Why you... make you do a thing if you have to like tell you exactly how to do the thing anyway? Yeah, I guess, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I suppose that this was to pad the game time. I don't really know. Padding the game time is stupid. Make the game as long as it is. Well, at the time, you know, there was a val even still, there's like kind of a value proposition. Yeah, but those people are dumb and they need to shut <laughs> up. Anyway, this circle on the left has like a hole in it, and wherever that hole is pointed is where the, I don't know, the beam of whatever the fuck is <laughs> going. The phlogiston. Yeah. Yeah. Listening to a Game Facts uh, writer try to describe this is pretty entertaining. Uh, it's, it's not. Um, it's not obvious how you would describe these things. Even the game designers were talking about ooze and glop and slime. Right. I uh, don't know what the writer was thinking uh, these things would be called. So that, I don't know, that charges up these buttons and you've got these three colors on this triangle and there's, there's a certain color order that you have to observe. So red, and then yellow, and then blue. And that charges up that green thing. Yay. Underneath the triangle, which charges up, and then you follow the same color order on those little buttons. And then you do this same stupid ass thing again, because- Oh, jeez, of course. Yeah, that's logical. Ugh. This the hell are they so thinking? This is so stupid, like the purple dildo thing on the right. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even think I noticed that that's kind of fa uh, phallic. Kind of. Okay, it's, it's pretty phallic. All right, that's it. Yay. We did some good repair work here. Hmm. Plausible. Yeah, we're doing good. All right, step back through the portal. Will we be all slimy again? Oh, that's a good point. No, because he was only slimy because he was a uh, he. Oh right, because he's a replicant. They made him, yeah. So so in fact, he actually is a rat boy. They made him out of rats. Hmm. It's kind of funny. And here's Jocelyn. Where the hell did she come from? Where the hell, indeed. Oh come on, she's so blue. <laughs> <laughs> they she, made her character boring. She has the advantage that she's still alive. Yeah, that's true. She's pretty much the only one. Yeah. I know what, who you are. How the fuck would you know that? Yeah, you weren't there. I love you. How would you know anything? Please. Yeah. Stay with me. Stay with Jocelyn. Whatever. That is an option. Or... Blow her up? No. Shove her through the rift? No. The alternative is that Curtis, Curtis's actual home is Dimension X. So. Yeah, but it seems so unpleasant the portal, there. The dome has been damaged. We believe it has become unstable. We wish the twin to return to us. It does not belong on your side. 
So, ending one, stick with the pill. Uh, the pill of our girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Just click on Jocelyn, and that will make the decision for us. I... Certainly is a tough one, isn't it? It really seemed so unpleasant on the other side. It like certainly uh, did. Even more Can you unpleasant than Jocelyn. Exact, like Paul wanted to kill all those people? Yeah, sure I do. Suits are evil, you know? Where do you suppose he is now? Mm. Panama, munching liver and fava beans. <sighs> Oh, you're gonna love the bikini I got. It is so tiny. I swear, it's this big. <laughs> oh, and I picked up some really strong sunblock because I know how you burn. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. Blue Mediterranean seas, sunwashed beaches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not gonna regret this, Curtis. I promise. And what do we see down here? Is he trying really hard not to kill her? Oh, look at that. Curtis is still having some side effects of being an alien. So we think that maybe that doesn't end well. But mm. who knows? Uh, ending two, go live <laughs> with the goo monsters. Yay. That seems good. <laughs> Talk about it, John. Just not that into you. There's Warner. I'll do what's right. I promise. Why did he wait a day? I don't know. sick of Jocelyn. Yeah, you would think that they would just let the scene play out like... Yeah, he'd be like, okay, bye. Yeah, and, and then he, yeah, he hops in. Stuff... Okay, so here's stuff that I either missed or I wasn't able to find, but I, I found it on the disc. Um, oh, if you try to grab this guy instead of just running, uh, he shoots you. Mm. And, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's a weird little... What is he doing? Yeah, I don't know if that's an outtake or what. What the hell are you looking at? Oh, I think my rat got loose. You better find it before I do. Curtis thinks he's having a hallucination. But in fact, yeah. the mouse is just in front of the light. So that's a little weird scene. Yeah. Uh, here's a weird thing. Here's Curtis at work on a third day after that scene with with uh, Therese, but that never happens. There is no one at work on a day after the Therese thing. Uh, there's yet more people at work, I think, on the same day. And I don't know how you get this scene. I think the scene that we just saw is not... You can't access it. it they just left it on the disc. Mm. This one I'm just not sure about. I, I just don't know when this is supposed to happen. Knocking over the coffee. Yeah. And... It's a pretty dumb scene. Well, wait. It's not quite over, I don't uh, think. Oh, yeah. Here's our adventure music. Yeah, we see the, the eyes of the Hikatoon in the screen. So, for all I know, this is the first place that you encounter that image. But I don't know which day it's supposed to happen on, and I don't know how you he trigger it. He wears the same fucking thing every day, so you can't tell. No, there's no way to tell. I mean, I know people who really do that, but it's still stupid. It's the white man uniform. Mm. Nowadays, the white man uniform is like a plaid button-up shirt and some jeans. I did not know that. It, yeah, like... There was Programmers a black where <laughs> there's a funny little scene of the camera and playing around with this okay. ridiculous looking taxidermy. Anyway, that's it. Uh, either way that you uh, choose, the game ends immediately. Uh, yeah. Look, I don't think you can say that this is a great game. 
I don't think you can say it's a terrible game either. I, you know, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, this this song that's at the end and throughout they like, you know, they put in like edgy metal music. Uh, it I didn't really. Hey, the rat has a name, mm-hmm. Rosie. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I don't think that uh, Sierra made. I want to say maybe they made no FMV games after this. Mm. But I don't think it's fair to say that this, like, killed it. Um, And if it did, I don't know if you can totally blame the makers because, like, this game just got killed in, like, the media. Like, like, everybody hated it. It's not great. It's it's okay. Seen worse. I definitely seen worse, yeah. Um... Yeah, how about any of the King's Quest games? No emails. <laughs> Those games suck balls. All right, Lorelai Shannon, that's the woman who made this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, wasn't made by, uh, by uh, Rose, uh, what, what's her name? Uh, Mr. Roberta Williams. Roberta Williams. It was not not made by Roberta Williams. Oh, okay. Yeah, she made the first Phantasmagoria. Mm-hmm. Oh, and by the way, at the end here, you see this weird scene of P.A. Warner. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that's supposed to happen. Do the aliens mm-hmm. do that to P.A. Warner? Presumably. Anyway, I think it was an attempt to be, you know, like an edgy, sexual... It's like for grown-ups. And it didn't work because it had production values and mm-hmm. writing on the caliber of, like, a Cinemax B movie. If that. But... On the other hand, it was an attempt at doing something, and I think people could have been a little bit more forgiving of that. You know, maybe they, I like I said, I think they kind of murdered it in its crib. You had to give it time to develop, and instead everyone was just like, FMV games are clearly shit because of this. <laughs> well, but a year... No, this is one example of a shit FMV game. This is one year after Gabriel Knight 2 came out. Yeah, that's weird, because Gabriel Knight 2 is objectively a good game. Yeah. So, I don't agree that because a game... First of all, go look at the games that were released, like, on the Commodore 64. Hmm. Those games are straight up fucking awful. Like, Carmen Sandiego or any of those games. Horrible. Absolutely o- just opaque... Badly made, unfun, nothing narrative about them. <laughs> They're just not good. And look, I think making a game like this is just not that easy. And they gave it to kind of a newcomer, and she didn't do a great job. But it had potential. Yeah. I don't think you had to destroy the goddamn medium. Like, this game got like an F. Wow, it doesn't seem F worthy. No, I didn't think Maybe so like either. A C. Yeah. yeah. You know. But. We know what happened. Sierra mm-hmm. folded within a few years of this. So, And now Roberta Williams and her husband travel the world on a boat. I did not know that. I yeah. do. And, uh, and the revived Sierra, do they have anything to do with that? Or is that just Activisions? I don't think that they do. And I that's, only... that's fine, by the way. I don't think that they need to be involved. They were never the good parts of, of the Sierra company. Yeah. The good games were made by Jane Jensen. They were not made by Roberta uh, and Ken Williams. Ken, that's his name. Yeah, those people suck. They were just the first people on the on the scene. If you like, if you like the Williamses, fuck off. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't leave comments. I, I'm not interested. Never enjoyed a game by them. Did not enjoy Phantasmagoria one at all. I kind of, I mean, maybe I only think that I enjoyed it because I played it again and again and again when I was a kid, but I did kind of enjoy some parts of King's Quest Four. Okay, I don't get that opinion at all. Those games are just like, trial and error. They're like... Uh, well, not really. I thought it was cute because it was like fairy tales. So a lot of the things you do, I mean, some of the things you do are completely stupid and opaque, but other parts were like, hey, I have a golden ball. I'm going to pitch it into this pond because there's some fairy tale like that. And I, it made me feel smart when I was like 10. Okay. How many of those king, How many of those games could they make though? Um, probably fewer than they actually did. I think there are 10. It sounds about... Yeah, maybe. They did the same idea ten times. Yeah. Well, that's not a good artist. And they only had one female protagonist, as far as I know. Like Jordan Metzner, you know, he he didn't make as many games, but at least he had, like, a different idea every fucking time. Who's that? 
the guy who made Prince of Persia. Then oh, he made okay. The Last Express, and then you know, you I know, did not like The Last Express. It seemed hard. That's a that's an incorrect opinion. <laughs> that that's a fucking straight up incorrect opinion. It seemed hard. It may be hard, but it's a really really good game. I believe you. Anyway, that's it for Phantasmagoria: a Puzzle of Flesh. Obviously, the only other game in the series. Yes. It is what it is, folks. 